Okay, so last time we defined a Ramsey number. So what is the Ramsey number for st? It's gonna be the smallest positive integer such that any simple graph with this many vertices, this is a number, with this many vertices, either the graph contains ks or the complement contains kt. And we saw that r33 was six. So another way to think about this is the example we did last time when we were looking at um, triangles, if we think about drawing the complete graph and we can color every edge either red or blue, these are the four different possibilities for the complete graph K3 where every edge is either red or blue. And what we're looking for is when do we have a blue clip, a complete graph that's blue or a complete graph that's red. So just following on to this example, we can compute other Ramsey numbers other than just this one. So for example, let's compute the Ramsey number of, let's see, R, maybe I'll stick with my colors here, two, three. What is R, two, three? So what does this mean when I say, what is R, two, three? I wanna find the smallest number, so the smallest complete graph, K, that I can find so that no matter how I color it, either I get a blue K2 or I get a red K3. So that's what I want. So here I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, okay, do I have a blue K2? Well, what's a blue K2? It's a line. And what's a red K3? Well, that's a triangle. So I have to ask myself, in every one of these examples, do I either have a blue line or a red triangle? Yes, 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 yes. In every one of these examples, I either have a blue line or a red triangle. So that tells me that this number is at most three. In order to prove that it's actually equal to three, I have to prove that this is the smallest number. So what do I need to do? I need to take the next number down and prove that I can draw it so the next number down is two. So I'm gonna draw a graph, the complete graph on two vertices, and I wanna make sure that I do not have a blue K2 and I do not have a red K3. Well, the way to do that is don't put a blue edge. Okay, fine, so I'll put a red edge. And since I only have one edge, I don't have a triangle. So this proves that the answer is actually equal to three. So this proves that R of two, three is honestly equal to three because it cannot be two, okay? So there are two steps in proving a Ramsey number. If I wanna prove that a Ramsey number is a given value, I have to prove that there's usually a, an abstract proof like we did for this case in the homework, or we can just do an exhaustive search if the number is small enough and say, okay, well, it's definitely not bigger than three. And then there's another step, which is show that the next number down, you can find a counterexample. So it doesn't have either of these. Those are the two steps to proving Ramsey numbers exist. So let's get some families of Ramsey numbers that exist. So building on the intuition that we just developed here, let's do an example and let's compute maybe a bigger class of things. So let's take R of, let's say we want two. So now that means I'm looking for a single edge that's blue and we'll let the other number be just a generic. So this means that I'm looking for KT, where T is the complete graph on T vertices, okay? So what is this number? So this is saying that whatever graph I draw on this many vertices, either I've used a blue edge or I have the complete graph KT. So I claim this is equal to T. Again, there are two steps to show, okay? So the proof has two steps. So if I take a graph that's smaller, I could take k t minus one all red, okay? This does not have the complete graph k t because I don't have enough vertices and it doesn't have a blue edge because it's all red. This proves that r of two t is bigger than t minus one, okay? So here, to prove it is actually equal to t, the next step, so that's one part of my proof, and the second half of my proof is any graph, um, let's say, 
either half on on t vertices either has an edge so that would be like the case of saying g and i get my k2 or not not means that the complement of the graph that would mean that g prime is equal to kt the complete graph so I either get a blue K2 or I get a red KT. And that's the proof that the Ramsey number 2T is equal to T. So here's another example, and you're gonna prove it in pretty much an analogous way. What's the other thing that we could do that's nice and generic? Well, we could let the blue be arbitrary and let the red be two. So these we can think of as two base cases. So this, is equal to S. And the same sort of argument applies. There's a symmetry to Ramsey numbers that you'll notice that when I switch the parameters, I'm not changing the Ramsey number. There's nothing special about red and blue. I can change these colors as I like, okay? So red Ramsey numbers have this symmetry if they exist, but it's not actually obvious that Ramsey numbers exist for any values of S and T. So what we're gonna do next time is we're gonna prove that Ramsey numbers in fact do exist, and we're gonna do that by finding a bound on them. And what is the bound that we're gonna find? Well, the theorem we're gonna prove next time is the following. But here is a theorem about Ramsey numbers. One of the few really nice theorems, really powerful theorems that we have. It's gonna say that R of ST is less than or equal to R of S T minus one plus R of S minus one T. Let's look at an example based on what we've just shown. So let's use this bound to think about what is R of three, three. Well, we know it's six because we worked that out last time, but what does the bound tell us? It tells us that R of three, three is at most R of three, two, plus R of two, three. And we just worked those out. We worked out exactly what those are in the previous examples. We know that this one is gonna be three, and this one is already three, so this is equal to three plus three, which is equal to six. So we know that the Ramsey number three, three is at most six. Since we computed last time directly, that we knew that this wasn't equal to five because we drew the pentagon, or the, uh, the K5 with a pentagon and all the interior edges that had no triangle in it that was monochromatic. So that proves also with this bound that the Ramsey number is actually equal to six. So this is the theorem we're gonna prove next time. This is gonna show us that the Ramsey numbers exist because they're finite and we're gonna do it by induction. But notice that we have to do sort of two steps in our induction and our base case for the induction is what we just saw here with these two examples. So these examples are important in their own right, but they're also important in using um, this recurrence relation to get a bound on our Ramsey numbers.